The first appearance of tattoos is around 12,000 BC, and the first recorded history is back when the pyramids were being constructed by the ancient Egyptians around 2,000 BC. The Greeks used tattoos, communications amongst spies to identification and ranks. Romans marked criminals and slaves with ink, and any people of Japan and Russia used them to show social status. In recent years, attitudes towards tattoos have changed. Celebrities such as David Beckham have made them popular and more acceptable. More recently, the British Army have started to relax their policies by allowing hand and neck tattoos, but the RAF and Royal Navy still refuse to change their rules. Do these changes in attitudes extend to all areas of modern life in the UK? Are tattoos now acceptable? This is what I want to find out. Will getting a tattoo have a significant impact on my future, and if so, in what ways? To answer these questions, I'll be talking to artists, members of the public and local businesses. tattoos. I have a couple and I think if they're done correctly it's nice art. I think um, my child having a tattoo at 16 I'd be happy with that as long as the tattoos weren't on his hands, neck or face there's no reason that it should affect his future. I'm Lewis Price and for quite a while now I've worn a tattoo. As much as I want a tattoo, I know there are consequences. A lot of people tend to regret the tattoos they get, and I don't want to be one of these people. So this documentary, I'm going to find out whether getting a tattoo is worth it, whether it could affect my life and how. Today we're here in Newport to find out the public's opinions on tattoos. We haven't been here that long, but we can already tell that art's inspiring everyone. What's your opinion of tattoos in the workplace? Um, I think it's not a good thing. I've got a few tattoos, so I've got little problems with people with tattoos. Well, I don't like loads. I don't mind on two. I actually like tattoos, and for me, I would be happy if I could have tattoos everywhere. Like, you shouldn't like charge a person only because he has tattoos or something. Yeah, so. don't change the way he can work yeah. just because he has tattoos. Yeah, it's just he likes tattoos, so he can like, also make them. I can understand why some businesses ask for them to be covered up because some people don't like to see tattoos. Personally, I have no problem with them. However, it obviously is dependent on the tattoo, uh, what it says, what it's of, and how it's on, on the show. I think they actually look terrific, personally. There was actually an article in the paper this week about a letter teacher. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, it really turned me off, and I think if... Uh, if anybody appeared and I was in a classroom, oh, yeah. yeah, to me, I'm afraid, yeah, okay. yeah in, in work practice, I think they're not good, yeah. And how do you think tattoos are seen in society? I think it's getting better, yeah. I think there's a bit of a stigma around them, but not much. It depends on what, what kind of tattoos. If you're like, your body's like full of tattoos, it's like, oh my god, look at him. He looks so, uh. <laughs> I actually like tattoos, I mean, also in society. Mm. It's just when you something have in your face, like... Yeah, it's also like where the tattoos are. I think a lot of negativity is shown towards them, which isn't necessarily fair, because some are just uh, an appreciation of people's views or beliefs. Um, I think it's the older styles of tattoos that used to be uh, the old classic love and hate on the knuckles or the teardrops by the eyes that have given them that negativity to it, really. I think they've always been around, so I think it's just because of publicity and celebrities wearing them that, that you know, people, yeah, I'll have one, you know, yeah. yeah. So I think that's probably right. I was going into Newport today to speak to the general public. I hasn't really changed my mind on tattoos. Still like tattoos, still set on the idea that I want one. But I think now I really need to speak to an employer. Because much as I like tattoos, and much as other people seem to like them, I still need to get a job. That's still really important. I still need money. Especially when you're older, you're still always going to need a job. Um, but yeah, speaking to an employer is important. Especially now that I'm getting to the age that I left school at college, looking to go to uni. After uni, you need a job. Everyone's looking for jobs, not enough jobs. 
So I don't want anything that's going to hold me back. I don't want anything that's going to be in the way of me getting a job. So I think, yeah, I really need to find out what employers think. I think that's a lot more important than what the public thinks. I decided to speak to Adam Ward, head of one-to-one -one driving school, Sarah Ward, an NHS healthcare professional, and the owners of the Arbridge Inn. I thought it would be good to find a range of employers in the hopes of getting varied views, so I kept my question the same. What is your opinion of tattoos in the workplace? What is your opinion of tattoos in the workplace? In my role as a driving instructor, um, I feel that a professional look is very important. Therefore, I think tattoos that aren't excessive are perfectly acceptable. Um, I think within my own workplace, working for the NHS, um, being a healthcare professional, I don't think having tattoos on show um, gives a particularly good impression of you as a person. Um, I think it really depends on the workplace that you're with, you know, working within. Well, I think they should be allowed because I think that they're an expression of yourself and because of the pub that we've got, I mean, not all places I don't think they're suitable in, but here is quite an unusual place. When you are teaching people to drive, they should be concentrating on what's happening. They shouldn't be looking at strange tattoos that you may have on your face. As a registered healthcare professional, patients expect you to be professional, as in someone they can trust. And I think being smart, clean and tidy in appearance will help visually with this. I believe that we've built this business up and we have a particular clientele, which are the older market, these people that we've uh, aimed our business at. Um, also families in the summer, and I just feel that these people may take offence to you know, I mean, I don't disagree with um, little ones, that's fine, but, you know, big ones down the arm, I think, is just inappropriate for our kind of business. Would you still consider an employee's application if the person had a visible tattoo? I would certainly consider an application um, if they did have a visible tattoo. However, you should look professional doing our job, and if the tattoo detracted from this, then we would not employ someone who had a tattoo, especially if the tattoo was offensive or excessive. Um, yes, I think in the healthcare profession I would do. Um, I think it's actually policy that they would have to cover the tattoo up um, so that if a patient particularly didn't like tattoos, you're not going to offend them. So it wouldn't put me off employing the person, no. We already have. Yeah. And she covers them up, which it's only down to my mum though. If it was down to me, she would be able yeah. to have them on show. But I do insist that but she, she But my mum insists that she covers them up. I'm just old fashioned. <laughs> This afternoon I spoke to a girl named Georgia, a student at the Isle of Wight College who is aspiring to be a tattoo artist. Although she isn't employed, I thought it would be a good idea for me to find out why people take such an interest in the tattooing career. What brought about your interest in tattoos? Um, it probably started with my dad, because when we were little we were always getting tattoos, and it was just like different bands as well, if you see their tattoos and things, and Kat Von D, people like that. What's your opinion of tattoos in the workplace? I think they're fine, to be honest. As long as they're not on your face, and just, or if they're really inappropriate, like things like that, but I think they're fine in the workplace. It's not like they're just interruptive or anything. How do you feel tattoos are perceived in society? Well, there's kind of those two people people who love them than the people who think they're disrespectful. I've just gotten back from work. I was speaking to people at work today and speaking to my boss about what they thought about tattoos, disposing them quickly. And she said that she wouldn't mind if I got a tattoo, as long as it was a place I could cover it up. So that sort of helped me make a decision more. 
at least I know that it's not affecting me at the moment. Um, so that's good. Tomorrow I leave for Holland. Although I'm set on my decision, I still wanted to make sure that I've made the right choice. I wanted to speak to people closer to my own age and with and without tattoos to see whether getting a tattoo at 16 really would affect my future. So I visited the Isle of Wight College again to meet with students Adam and Jaden. What brought about your interest in tattoos? Yeah, I suppose I like the designs. I like tattoos. I just like the look of them. I like that they can be really artistic and they sort of can tell a story, I suppose. One of my mates, uh, Jake, had his first um, tattoo on him. He had a, uh, like an eagle with a drink catch there. And I just thought I really would like to get a tattoo, but little did I know like it would turn into addiction though. <laughs> when did you get your first tattoo and did it mean anything to you? I first got my tattoo when I was 16. I got this one here, with an eagle and a grenade. And I got it really because um, it sounds it's like a dove and a grenade, so it's like it's peace and it's war as well. So yeah, it's, it sort of meant a lot to me, but not much. How many tattoos do you have? Oh, I've got 12 tattoos in all. I've got on my hands, I've got on my knuckles, got some over here and some up there as well. I've got a couple on my legs as well. How do you feel tattoos are perceived in society? To be honest, I think they're a lot more accepted now. I mean, before, tattoos were the mark of, you know, chav or thugs, but I think it depends what sort of tattoos you've got. I think, yeah, I think tattoos have come a long way, really. I mean, you see, you see it's just a normal thing to have now, really. I mean, you know, you see people walking around with yeah, you know, I mean, in Lidl, I mean, there's someone with a tattoo on their face as well, but I wouldn't go that far, really. As I was boarding the plane to Holland, I was feeling a lot more excited than nervous. I knew that this wasn't going to affect my life at all because it was only small, and after speaking to everyone, I knew it wasn't going to be as bad as I first thought. So I'm in Holland now. I've got my tattoo done, got done earlier today, and I like it, I'm happy, I'm proud of it. But um, that was weird, halfway through the tattoo, halfway through he was doing it, I started thinking to myself, I was like watching him do it, and I was like seeing like, the shape coming out, I'd just done the outline, and I started thinking, oh shit, look, do I actually want this? Like, this is proper real, it's with me forever. And I don't, I don't know if I'd say, like, I regret it, but in that sort of moment, I was really thinking whether this is actually what I wanted to do. But I didn't say anything, I'd like, wait for him to finish. Um, but now, after we've done it, I really like it. I like it now, still like it. I think it's really nice, it's only small, just on my arm, but no, I'm happy with it. It was just that initial. I like obviously just done the outline on that and you can see it like through like take a shape. It was just a bit it was real. And um but no, nah, I am glad I did it done. I'm glad I spoke to everyone as well. Glad I got everyone's point of view. Like employers, public, everything, I think that helped me make a decision. And there was one question that I asked everyone, and that helped me make a decision more than ever. More than any of the others, and that was whether they think tattoo was art. Because everyone thought tattoo was art. Employers thought tattoo was art. Even people that didn't like tattoos thought it was art. Everyone said that in some way it was a form of art. So I think hearing that from everyone really helped me make my mind up. But yeah, I'm happy I got it, I'm glad. Yeah. Along the way of my journey, I asked myself and the public a more unanswered question. Do you think tattoos are a form of art? Yes, they are. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I do actually, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, ask me to do Yes, they are, definitely. Yeah, they're the best form of art. Yeah, they are. 